Hello and welcome. So today we want to go over a tool called Code Sandbox. So let's get started. All right, so let me premise this by saying when you're first learning to code, you may often use tools like CoderChef or tools like Replit or CodePen. And then at some point you want to build something say in React or in Angular or a sort of a more complex app, a more complex idea. And sort of some of the tools like Replit might not work as well as you wish they would. So recently, my team and I have been playing around with this idea created by Code Sandbox. So codesandbox.io. There's a bunch of different stuff here. We're going to go over a very small subset of a couple things that we really like about this product. Also, we're not trying to sell the product. This is just like a technical tutorial or a, sort of an explanatory tutorial. Anyway, one of the things that we really like is that you can instantly create a sandbox without having to create an account. So you can start playing with it now, right now. Actually, you could have played with it before, but anyway, maybe you wouldn't be watching this tutorial. Next, you're going to be able to choose either an existing template or potentially create your own. In order to create your own or save it for later, you would probably have to create an account, sign in, blah, blah, blah. But let's just think about this. So there's vanilla JavaScript, there's Vue, Vue there's Vue 3, React. We're probably going to do React in this. But then you got just regular TypeScript or let's see, one of my favorites is React with TypeScript. So we'll just do regular React. So we'll click this, it'll, you'll notice like generate a unique URL. Nothing is like super new here, but in a few moments, you'll have this sandbox, this playpen, this awesome opportunity to start creating in React. So here you might notice that it's just some basic setup. You have, you're importing your styles from your style sheet, you're exporting default. So this is a functional component in React. If you don't know what that means, it doesn't really matter. It's just there are generally two types of components in React, a class component or a functional component. In any case, you can see sort of the structure here. So we have source, we have an app.js, an index.js, which they're doing strict mode. That's totally cool. Here's your root element. We're rendering to the React DOM, importing strict mode from React, all this stuff. If you know a little bit about React, this shouldn't seem unusual. Um, but if you don't know that much about React, sort of ignore the gross details that apply to React and sort of just look at the broad framework. Anyway, as in many IDEs or like online IDEs, uh, internal development environment, or maybe they should be called EDEs, like external development environments in this case. Anyway, you have things like you can create a new file, new sandbox, you can save these. What we'll look at in a little bit is exporting your sandbox. So then you have edit. These are kind of all sort of normal. Um, one thing is cool that you can embed your sandbox in another site, you can fork it. So if you were to find a sandbox that you really liked, you could fork that sort of like, think about GitHub, that, that sort of framework there. Now, you can have external resources that you import into this library, or you can add a, uh, a, a dependency. So let's say that you wanted to create a React app and you're gonna create a front end and a back end, it's gonna be freaking awesome. And so you might want something like Express to manage your routing. And then you would just come here and you would add that. And it's just like if you were running NPM or package manager or whatever, um, it would install that. So now you should be able to create express components. So I won't do it here because this isn't the sort of logical place that you would want to import something like express. Um, but in any case, if you wanted to add dependencies, you can add it very easily in the code sandbox. Now, one of the things that I really like is that you can export it as well as change it. So let's say like you want to say like, hello, internet. We are co-learnable, right? And so on the right hand side of the screen, it will render that totally cool. But then you're like, okay, maybe I want to save this later. Maybe I don't have an account. Or maybe you just want this template to, to use on your own sort of platform. Maybe you're using VS Code or Sublime, or I don't really know what tool you would be using. Maybe you want to upload something to GitHub. How would you do that? Well, you could go here and then you could go to export to zip. So it's going to export the zip with the same sort of like random name as the last series of digits here. You can open that. So unzipping, it's on screen. Here's my downloads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my terminal. Yes, I'm using Mac. And then let's go here. And I'm just gonna drag this in, kind of cool trick. 
and it will give you the path and then we'll clear this and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to be like yo what is up well i'm going to open up my vs code i have a little alias to open up vs code and you'll notice or you may notice if you're paying attention uh you may notice that the if i can even do this properly here we go and here we go like these should look super similar in terms of the directory structure here is identical to the directory structure here in the code sandbox and you'll notice that it does have that the sort of those changes that we made we're saying hello internet we are co-learnable not something that you would probably go around saying in the real world but um but kind of cool. And then if you, again, if you're not following this because you're not super familiar with React or certain JavaScript frameworks, it's totally fine. But you'll notice that for those of you that do sort of follow, um, you have your package.json file, which has a list of your dependencies among other things and express is there, just like it would have been added here. Ooh, this is like getting kind of hard to read um, here. And you could add like another one you could do like React router, and you'll see it like loads here. And obviously, if you wanted that React router, you could either install it on your local machine or you could re export it as a zip file. Totally up to you. But in any case, we wanted to give a super brief introduction to this tool that we've been using called Code Sandbox.io. And sort of some of the major benefits is that they have these pre made templates and you can just sort of get going very quickly. You can test out code, you can upload your own code in a way that uh, you might have more freedom than if you're trying to get, use something like Replit or CodePen or whatever. So anyway, if you have questions or comments, please add them in the comment section below. If there are different topics that you'd like us to cover, feel free to suggest that as well. Also, if you're interested in subscribing and you haven't already, now is the perfect, and I mean perfect, opportunity. Like literally, if you're a cat, you'd be purring right now because it's so perfect. Anyway, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sorry I'm talking so quickly. I'm really excited. Anyway, perhaps we'll see you later. Thanks for watching and cheers.